Hello and welcome to my world of miniature wind turbines. I've designed and built four different kinds and I'm going to show them to you. Today you're going to be seeing a demonstration of Hercules which is the first one that I built. The second one that I built is called Wind Battery. This one is going to play an AM FM radio when you come back and visit and see Wind Battery in action. The third is called Air America and I really like this one because adding those two deflectors to the outside diameter of the wind turbine really helps this thing track. It really tracks the wind and doesn't want to oscillate like uh, you see when other wind turbines turn toward the wind, they have a tendency to keep moving for a while. Once this thing detects the wind, it wants to stay there. I like that idea so much that I put it on my fourth one called Trackstar. Trackstar is a much larger uh, wind turbine, has over a 30 inch diameter, and uh, it's using as an electric generator a NEMA 23 stepper motor. I think you're really going to like seeing Trackstar. So let's start with uh, demonstrating Hercules. And if you can see this, I've got a can of Sprite sitting there so that you can get an idea of just how small Hercules is. That's a can of pop, so you can tell that Hercules is not a big giant machine. Let's come around here and take a look at our weight. This is uh, my payload that we're going to try to lift and uh, I have here a postal scale that will give me a real accurate reading. Let's fire up the postal scale. So it's at zero. Let's see what our true weight is. Okay, the scale is now reading in pounds. I'll get a little closer. That's two pounds, 3.5 ounces. 2 pounds, 3.5 ounces. Convert that to grams. That's 1,009 grams. Again, 1,009 grams. And I'm repeating this because to me this is a pretty impressive display of energy if Hercules can lift this much weight. All right, let's put, it, put our weight on the floor. Hercules is ready and before we turn on our wind source, which is a standard house fan, I'm going to show you that I used a uh, set of protractors on each blade so that I can make sure that each blade is turned to the exact angle. And this allowed me to play with the blades to see what was going to give me my fastest lifting time and the strongest lift possible. So I can actually adjust these according to the weight. I can go fast or I can go slow and when I go slow by change, increasing the angle of the blades I can lift more weight or not me but Hercules can. This small device uh, behind the turbine assembly is a small electric motor that I got out of a small inexpensive heater at Menards for only twelve dollars. I'll put the name of it up so that you can see in case you find one of these in, um, in a Goodwill or something it might be interesting uh, that if you can get one at a price of maybe one or two dollars disassemble it, cut the wiring off and use the bearings. These, this thing has incredible bearings that reduces the friction that allows me to get all of the energy out of the wind that I can possibly get. If you heard of Bitt's Law, a German uh, scientist named Albert Bitz said that the most that you could possibly get out of a wind at, for a turbine is 59%. And I'm impressed with uh, what I believe to be close to 59% that this turbine has to be able to generate from the wind that sorts that it's going to get. All right, that's enough talking. Let's turn it on. Stand back and 
years. Hercules is lifting 1,009 grams. And if you have a stopwatch, if I were you, I would repeat this, or play this back, and actually time it, okay? It's called on the table. But that's okay. And she's returning, the weight is returning back to Earth. It's just to give you an idea of what kind of true power that we can get out of wind turbines. Imagine this thing being, say, a hundred times larger, we'd be able to lift an awful lot of weight. This is the wave of the future, people. We're going to have problems soon with fossil fuels, so we're going to have to come up with better ideas in order to get work done without using uh, fossil fuels. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration, and please leave a comment, good or bad, it won't matter to me. I like these things, and I do it for fun. I don't need them. I just love to make things. Have a nice day, and thank you very much. Bye.